Welcome to Dynamic Foundry Group small video section. Today we are going to see a small video on nitrogen fissure defect. So let us start the, diff the presentation. Nitrogen fissures. Nitrogen gas porosity defects are predominantly a problem in gray iron, but can be also occur in ductile iron as well at higher nitrogen content. Generally, nitrogen fissures are found in medium to heavy sections adjacent to resin bounded mold or core material. The nitrogen fissures are typically smooth face surface of subsurface irregular shaped cavities perpendicular to the surface stretching a few millimeters into the casting. The insides of the cavities are mostly black and shiny with dendrite penetrating into the cavity. Nitrogen pinholes are normally surface of subsurface rounded cavities also with black and shiny intersurface. A graphite flakes deflected zone normally are surrounded the holes. You can see the microstructure that is close up of defect showing inner graphite lining and flakes depleted rim in this slide. These are some of the pictures for the nitrogen fissure defect on various types of castings. You can see these defects on the casting. Example of nitrogen porosity defect in gray cast iron. These are another few casting examples where you can see nitrogen fissure defect at various locations inside the bore, on the surface. Possible root causes. Use of high steel scrap content in cupola melted iron with high coke charges. Use of high nitrogen containing raw materials in electric melting. Use of high nitrogen containing resins or built up nitrogen in the sand. Low carbon equivalent, insufficient titanium or zircon contents to neutralize free nitrogen. Use of recarburizer with high nitrogen content. These are the basic possible causes for nitrogen fissure. Now we go to the remedies that is possible cures, how you can cure this defect. Round, uh, first is reduce nitrogen content to below 85 ppm in heavier sections and 120 ppm in thinner sections to get rid of this nitrogen fissure. It's very important to reduce nitrogen content below 85 ppm in heavier section and 120 ppm in thinner section. Limit the use of high nitrogen containing materials in the charge, especially CPC, that is calcium, CPC coke in the cast iron as a carburizer. Avoid high nitrogen containing recarburizers. This is what I'm saying. Uh, increase the carbon equivalent, add titanium or zircon to tie up the excess, excessive nitrogen. Increase pouring temperature. Use of low nitrogen containing resin binders system for the core. Nitrogen should be less than 3%. Improve venting of mold cavities and cores so that your gas can escape easily. Uh, nitrogen content below 85 ppm in heavier section and 120 ppm in thin section as already we have discussed. If it is more than that, add titanium to tie up free nitrogen. 0.05% maximum is the in the base metal. It will be 0.015%. That is which will kill or which will uh, reduce the possibilities of nitrogen fissure or it will uh, kill the effect of free nitrogen to reduce your nitrogen fissure defect. Anything above 0.25 of titanium tends to give Titanium nit nitrogen hard machinable spots during machining. So it is very important to control the addition of titanium to the safe, uh, safe level should not, should not be more than that so that you will fall into another problem uh, after the nitrogen fissure problem. So it's very important to limit the addition of titanium as a safe uh, zone. It should not be more. Uh, additionally, you can use uh, SR Gerard, that is cerium zirconium or zirconium based inoculation for uh, to get help in reducing this particular nitrogen fissure defect. 
but always it is better to change nitrogen source like carburizer or resins for uh, to the lower uh, nitrogen content source so that it will help you in the long run or long solution long term solution as well so this is from my side thank you very much for patient hearing and uh, hope you have understand this defect the cause root causes and remedies and you will work on that thank you